Hello everyone and welcome to Man's Life Knowledge. Today in this video we are going to discuss about some outside bats. That is a uh, two dozen bats I will going to play. And the bats is some very simple. You have to put your bats at any of the two position over here. You can choose either first and third or second or first or first or second. And for every position you have to put your bats like 10 unit at every position. 10 unit over here, 10 unit over here. Suppose you are playing at two, this position, and if you lose, then what you will do, you will add a 20 unit more. That means you have to put your bats 30, here also 30. Again, if you lose, then uh, add another 20 unit, that will become uh, 50, here also it become 50. But what if you will own? Suppose uh, you own somewhere, like uh, you are at the 30 unit bats at both the position and you own then you have to reduce 10 unit now it will become a 20 unit this is very simple and the logic behind this is that uh, if you uh, own 30 unit bats and if you lose the next bat that is a 20 unit then also you are in profit and at the other point if you uh, <coughs> lose a 20 unit bats and you increase the bats to 40 unit then you own then also you make some profit so either you lose or either you win you win something more when you win from, from your previous losses and whenever you lose you lose something more low or something less than your previous win that will save some amount for your profit so as you can see I have a bankroll over here it's a uh, 2522 points and my objective is to make a profit of 100 points so i'll have to continue the game until i hit 2600 and 22 point so let's see how this actually works so you can choose any of the two dozen that's depend upon you it's quite random but you always you have to uh, choose two position or two dozen at the same time so let's begin so I have started from first and third dozen, but as you can, you can see over here, last four number are from uh, second dozen, even 15, 19, large numbers of outcomes are from second dozen, but I have chosen first and third dozen, because I think uh, position is doesn't matter for this strategy, only the amount which matters. How much amount you have to increase how much amount you have to decrease so it's a 28 and I win here and I, as I am at a basic 10 unit bats so I will again go with same 10 unit bats I don't have any scope to decrease the bats right now So after every winning spin you have to decrease, after every losing spin you have to increase. But whenever you are increasing, increase by 2 points or 20 in this case and whenever you decrease, decrease by 1 point that is a 10 in this case. It may take uh, se several spin to give you the profit but finally you will achieve the target. Sometimes it takes uh, 10 to 11 spin. As after every spin you are winning just a 10 unit so sometime it will take a 10 to 11 spin to give you the profit but sometime it might goes up to a 20 or 25 spin but at the end you are definitely going to get the profit so this time also I win here so again what I need to do is again just 10 unit at both the position this is life table And the bats interval is uh, 36 seconds so this video will going to be longer than my usual videos so please uh, watch this video till the end to know how this strategy actually works This time it's again one and it's profit so just uh, repeat the bats 
I'm uh, going with the first and third dozen, but you can go with first and second or second or third. That depends upon you. Or in between, uh, you can also shift the position. Because in this strategy, a position doesn't matter, only the amount which you are putting does matter. And increasing the units after losses and decreasing the units after win is the fundamental of this strategy. So it's 12 again a winning number so just put another 10 unit I will increase only when I lose and I lose only at uh, second dozen and number zero so as I have uh, 24 number to win and just 13 number to lose I can easily increase the bats without much thinking you have in this strategy you have to win equal number of spin as you lose so 50% of your win is sufficient to give you the profit or at least to recover the losses 60% of the spin if you won then definitely you will hit the target and as you have covered 24 numbers and leave only 13 numbers the chances of winning 50 for more than 50% of the time is usual this time also I win here so again just uh, repeat Last five spin I have won with just first and third dozen. Second dozen haven't F yet till yet. So you can judge from the first out past outcome that uh, how the wheel behaves, and you can choose the bats accordingly. You can go with the first and second, second and third, or first and third but uh, always remember go with uh, two dozen at the same time never go with the single dozen so this time also I win here so again just repeat the bats if you found from this area that the last few numbers 31, 10, 12, 1, 30, 28. All these are from either first or second or third dozen. But previous to that, this area you can see here 14, 20, 24, 20. These are from second dozen. That's why I choose the third and first dozen. I choose to skip the first, second dozen because uh, four conjugate numbers has already appeared from that second dozen. But now, the time has been changed uh, already six spin have uh, skipped the second dozen so it's better to go with the second dozen from now but I will not go with the second dozen until I lose if I lose uh, somewhere with this first and second uh, third dozen then only I will go with the second dozen I will continue this trend so as you know uh, online roulettes are programmed on and uh, it's follow a particular trend and you have to understand which trend it is uh, going on. So till now the trend is uh, up uh, first and third dozen. Once the trend will break I will also shift the position. number 17 this time the trend will break and I will again continue with that same two position with this time I have increased earlier you can see it was a 10 unit now I have increased 20 more at both position so now it's become 30 at to both the position if I lose again at this position then I will go 50 here also I will go 50 and if I won this is a 30 unit spin you can see I will continue with that 20 unit spin. 
But after two conjugative losses, I will uh, shift the position to second dozen. Either I will uh, leave a uh, first dozen or third dozen and continue with two dozen that will cover at least the second dozen. The trend has already breaked. If I hit again second dozen, then it will confirm that the trend has break but that the trend is uh, still continuing so last spin you can see was uh, 30 unit at both positions so i will go by decreasing 10 unit is become 20 at both position sometimes uh, if you are playing online roller then you have to follow the trend because the developers always follow a trend to develop the static strategy if, if one more number from the second dozen will hit then it will confirm the change of the trend it's 12 this time I won't hear Now you can see the bank row over here. It's at 2622. I have started from 2522 and now I am at 2622. That means I make my profit of 100 units. So this is the strategy you can follow to make profit from live roller table. So at the end, let me explain you what the strategy. First thing is that you have to go with any two dozen. Out of these three dozen, you can go with first, second, second, third, or first, third. And second thing is that uh, you have to increase the bets whenever you lose. Suppose you have started from a 10 unit bets. So, sorry, mistakenly I have uh, put two bets over here. This is not the part of the strategy. So what I am saying is that uh, you have to start from 10 unit at both the position and if you lose then increase at 20 more unit now it will become 30 it will also become 30 if you lose again at this position also then it will become uh, 50 here also it become 50 and suppose you own at this position then decrease 10 unit now it will become 40 and if you own at this position 40 also then it will become 30 and the benefit is that uh, whenever you own after a losing spin you want something more and whenever you lose after a winning spin then the amount you lose will be less than your previous winning amount so that is the strategy and on one more thing if you are playing online then always uh, remember to look at this position it will give you the guidance where you have to put the bets always this uh, online toilet follow a strategy follow a sequence follow a trend and you have to follow that trend now the trend is uh, still with the first and third dozen as uh, the trend hasn't break as you can see from this area then 31 12 10 31 33 30 12 and 3 lots of numbers are from first and third dozen only two numbers are from this area second dozen so it is still profitable to go with the trend the trend hasn't break till yet so this is the strategy for today and if you like this video then please uh, like and subscribe my channel for more such roulette tricks and strategies. Thanks for watching. Thank you.